Good morning, attorney Peter Olson, managing partner, Chicago Family Law Group here. We've been supporting families and protecting children since 2005. And hey, here's today's video. Three times, three times, I would say only, but probably the big three times when it's really urgent to get your family law case into court. Three times when it's really urgent to get your case into court fast. Okay, so by before I go to the three, so what's the opposite point to that? A lot of family law actually is best dealt with by not filing a case more quickly than you need to. And without going on for 20 minutes on that point, the reason why you shouldn't be in too big of a rush to file if there aren't really, really critical issues like the three I'm going to discuss are the court system moves slowly, the court system's inefficient, and you'd rather keep it out of that inefficient bureaucratic system as long as you can, if you can, be making progress, negotiating, settling the case sort of outside the court system. That's the big reason why most situations you should try to keep out of court as long as you possibly can. Eventually it needs to be in court, whether you're talking about a custody judgment, a divorce, right? These are situations that ultimately end with a court order and a judgment and right the power of you know the legal system doing something but usually the best way to get to the end you want to get to is actually doing as much out of court as you possibly can first okay now three times when it's urgent and critical that you have to get into court though here we go um number one domestic violence Domestic violence, right, not acceptable, a panacea of our society, and right, your husband's kicking your ass, you have to get into court, you have to get that guy out of the home, you got to get his guns, and you got to get possession of your kids, okay? Get into court if that stuff of, that type of thing is happening, right? Um, could tell you story after story, and you know, but really the bigger, more easy one to look at you look at the nightly news every night, probably half of violent incidents have a domestic relationship piece to them. So you don't want to be on the news. You want to do what you have to do in a domestic violence setting, case, order of protection, whatever. That's urgent. You got to get into court fast if there's harassment or physical abuse. That's urgent, number one. Number two, somebody's grabbing money. Somebody's grabbing a lot of money. Um, in the context of divorce and these sorts of matters, are money shenanigans uh, that unusual? No. But if, I, I don't know, just one top of mind, um, we had a guy, it was actually our client in this case, right? You take them how you get them, you know, not, not all of ours are, are perfect people. This guy's grabbing about 50 grand, you know? So the other attorney gets into court right away on the case and, you know, freezes some assets. Um, so yeah, domestic violence, grabbing money. And then the last one, somebody's doing a grab and run with the kids or a kid. Um, that's probably actually the one I see the most. Um, we get a call probably every week, or let's just say multiple calls every month, where a parent is meeting with me now as a prospective attorney and them as a prospective client, um, because, hey, my ex-girlfriend took our kids and ran to Arizona. Okay, follow? Um, absolutely time sensitive to move on those cases. Absolutely time sensitive. Um, let me give you two stories to back up that as a really critical point because you have two big issues there. 
and this was a client we represented. I just talked to her this morning, actually, on, a, on an unrelated um, matter. This woman did a grab and run, as I would say, before we were her attorneys, um, and took uh, their daughter to Arizona from Chicago area. Okay, and so she did a grab and run, and we got into her case a little bit after the fact. And here's the bottom line. Um, the, uh, the father and his attorney didn't act quickly. They didn't act quickly. And I, I very distinctly remember this case. We did a sit down with the judge probably six to nine months after she'd done the grab and run. And here's the thing, right? The underlying law is you need to get court approval to <clears throat> remove or relocate to another state. Um, she hadn't done that. But here we are, six to nine months later, sitting down with a judge, and he basically just said, I don't care. You know, the kid's settled now in Arizona. I'm not going to pull her and the daughter back. That's it. So um, that's my experience. Basically, if you don't act fast, like within the first couple weeks, even though the law is such that you really can't relocate to another state. Um, my experience is once the family and the children are settled in the new place, judges aren't going to pull them back. That's an absolutely spot-on example, real case of ours, where it's like our client was wrong and the judge basically just didn't care. She's there, the kid's there, kid's in school, I'm not pulling her back even though what she did was not consistent with what Illinois law is. And then what's the other part of the urgency of a child-related matter? Um, that's the issue of what court even has power over the case. Um, we have one going on right now where, um, quite honestly, a client of ours probably he should have moved more quickly than he did. I think we're still going to kind of be okay, but it's the issue of does the court in Illinois have power over this case or does this other state where the kid has now been for a few months have power over the case, um, right? The old, what the law is, is a six-month home state rule. Where had, what has been the home state of the kid for the most recent six months? I still think we're going to be fine, but again, um, this guy has handicapped himself by not moving urgently on this case. Um, and now we have to, you know, now he hasn't seen his kid for a while. And um, there is an open question of is Illinois, does Illinois have power over this case? Or might it be this other state because he has waited too long? So, quick review, right? A lot of times family law is actually best kept out of court, but there are three times, underline three times, where it's critical and urgent that you act fast in your family law case. Domestic violence, somebody's grabbing money, and somebody's grabbing a kid, okay? Protect yourself in those situations. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Peter Olson, Chicago Family Law Group, familylawchicago.com. Check us out. Always doing free initial consultations. You can schedule one on the website right now. Thank you.